Hi guys and welcome to TK's Financial Corner. This is where we talk everything financial education, we talk personal finance. As I always say guys that personal finance is personal. Your goals are not going to be the same as the person's goals next to you. Okay? So so this is where we talk investing, saving money, budgeting, uh, stock files, buying shares in South Africa, how can you bid, you know, this whole thing that has been going around of having so many funeral policies, more especially as a black nation, I think we need to do away with that. In 2023, guys, if you still have lots and lots of funeral policies, you need to re-look into your plan, re-strategize how are you going to overcome this. Because it can't be that you were now you are paying 1.5 or 2,000 rands or even 1,000 rands for that matter on different funeral policies. No, guys, it doesn't work like that. And while you are doing all of that, you do not have a life cover. Like really, guys, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. So on today's video, I really want us to talk about two things, funeral policies versus life covers, okay? So to get this starting, if you are new, welcome if you are coming back again thank you for sticking around commenting following subscribing and watching my videos so if you are new do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out every wednesdays when we post the videos let's get this going guys so number one funeral policies guys there is a rule uh perhaps i don't know if it's a rule or what but you cannot get more than 100,000 payout on funeral policies for one individual. And this happens mostly when the underwriter of the insurance is the same. To make this even much better, to break it down and to simplify it in layman's terms, we know that most of us, we love to take out you know, funeral uh, policies for our parents, be it with Old Mutual, Avbob, Sunlam, PK, uh, sorry, not Pick and Pay, Capitec, etc., etc. Now, say with siblings, it's three of us, and we all insured our mom or our dad, say with Old Mutual, each person is going to have a payout, say, of 50,000 rands upon death. Okay? Now, death comes, unfortunately, God forbid, and we all go and claim for the parent that we have insured, okay, with this particular uh, provider. We submit everything in terms of claiming and we only gonna get 100,000 rands because remember the maximum is 100 rands per individual, per ID registered and with the same underwriter because remember if we've insured our mom with old mutual, all three of us, Old Mutual can only pay a maximum payout of 100,000 rands, which means we're going to be losing out the 50,000 rands because we have over-insured the parent with one insurer. So that is very, very important. We need, I think that is why as well, it's important that siblings need to start having these uh, conversations with the parents as well to say, let's sit down who has insured who where all right you've insured mom with so and so you've insured mom with so and so can we do some little bit of background check uh, into understanding who are the underwriters for these insurance policies funeral policies rather so that we do not encounter such a situation upon death when it's time to claim so this is very very important guys for us to note and the other thing you know this thing of insuring, you know, older people are more expensive when you insure them for a funeral policy. And you'd find out you have insured uh, one person here, you're paying 300 and something. You've insured the other one there, you're paying 400 and something. You've insured the other one there, you're paying, you know, there's, there, there, there's many and they are quite expensive. But I think in my life so far, I've found fin choice to be much better and i have found what's the other one is it ashopol i think it's ashopol i found them to be much better as well compared to your well-known old brands that have been out here for for some time so so we need to do a little bit of shopping guys we really need to do a little bit of shopping 
into getting that cheaper policy for for the parent especially older ones over the age of 60 65 70 it can be quite expensive to insure them now let's talk about a life cover i always say that if you are employed you're a young person most especially if you're a young person and you do not have a life cover that's a red flag that's it you need to get your life cover rolling. And they're saying that it's even much better when you start signing up for a life cover while you are younger. You know, if, if you started working in your 20s, take a life cover while you're fresh and healthy and all good. Because remember that life covers, they require some medicals to be done. And I always vote for those. I want to go for those that do medicals on you because those ones you'll find out that upon a claim being submitted, honestly, there aren't any hassles, you will get your money. Then, then a, 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 a life cover where you did not do any medicals, it was just a phone uh, uh, application and that was it. I don't believe in those. I believe in the traditional way of getting a life cover. Okay, so so life covers, guys, can start from a useless 150, depending, of course, on your age, on your you know health, um status as well you know if you are like around your 20s i'm sure guys you can get a life cover of say 150 and you will get your 1 million life cover in case of death in case of disability some in case of retrenchment as much as you can have your income cover that's a topic for another day but these ones disability um loss of income uh death showcase death and um and 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 a critical illness critical illness guys you know so those things are very very important life covers life covers are very important because what happens is that in the past when you die and you do not have a life cover and you had things that you were paying for assets such as a car and the house it's very unfortunate because your children will be kicked out of a house more especially if you are still paying for the house because the bank will want its house because it's not your house unfortunately they will repossess it, take the cars and everything, and all of a sudden the lifestyle of your children that you were providing to them suddenly changes from 10 to 0. They will have to relocate, go and stay in the villages or go stay in the townships, whereas you are giving your children a certain standard of a life. So it helps in those circumstances. And some of the life covers, they even cover up the education for your children. So that even if something can happen to you, your children can continue give, uh, getting the same quality and standard of education that you would have desired uh, for them to get. That is very, very important. So guys, let's look upon getting up life covers, making sure that you know who's benefiting, you know what is what. Because of course, life cover will first pay your debts, that is your house, your car, and any other debts that you might have. Um, and then after that, whatever is left, then will be paid to your beneficiaries, which will be your children. I, I, I think all of us should make our children beneficiaries of the life cover. Or you set up a testamentary trust to say that once something happens, this will go into that trust where the funds will stay there and they will just be distributed, you know, in different places such as school, um, holidays, clothing, in, 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 in. So those things are very, very important. Really don't want to make this video that long, but please guys, review your funeral policies and review your life cover. If you do not have, do work on getting one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below with whatever you want me to talk about on the next video. All your questions, feel free to drop them on the comment section. Bye guys.